Hey everybody, this is Donna with Johnny Z's Cars. Today I'm going to show this 2009 New Body Design Subaru Legacy B4. It has uh, 70,000 kilometers on it, which is only 43,000 miles. That is it. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's going to have a look around. I'll show the features inside, but first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Legacy B4 is a five-passenger vehicle in the uh, 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $160 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next. Now, you do have uh, two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want some down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will light or roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you're going to get cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. Okay, so let's jump on in and get this baby started. Like I said, it's going to be a little dirty since it is just coming in. All right, so key fob on your person. It is a push start, so foot on the brake, push this one time, and it goes. All right, as I move the seat, adjust the seat. Oop, we'll turn this uh, radio off. Sorry, Troy, and all of uh, AFN. All right. 69,793 on, on the odometer. I'm trying to lower this. Uh, let's show you a couple of warning lights. That blue one over there is your new temperature gauge. So it's going to be blue when the engine's cool. It'll go away when the engine warms up. And then it'll be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, where'd that other one go? That one right there, that's your uh, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure where your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And that one right there is your emergency brake, okay? Uh, this one is a push type, so with your foot on, uh, or uh, when you pull it towards you with your foot on the brake, it's gonna disengage, so now, it, now it's gone, okay? But then when uh, you wanna engage it, you push it, that light's, that light's gonna come on, and now that light is back on as well, all right? Other than that, it's very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Uh, off to the left and on top of your dash here, you're going to have a little display. It's going to show you the outside temperature and the time. You do have your radio here, or your uh, monitor. This one does have a rear camera. You have your radio, air conditioning controls, just a little uh, uh, shelf here or tray maybe for some cords or whatnot, and a power outlet. There you have your shifter. This is going to control the type of drive that you want, so if you want a little sportier or whatnot, you can do it right from there. And then you have your uh, cup holders. And a center armrest slash uh, um, arm uh, center armrest or <laughs> console. Uh, uh, the first uh, compartment is going to give you a little tray, and the second one is going to give you a little extra uh, uh, space with another uh, power outlet. Continuing off to the left, you have your uh, glove box, and then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. Uh, that is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out, and this is the space I have on my side. Um, the seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. I will say these uh, new Legacies have a lot more leg room. So I could drive like this, but I'm a little extended, so I would definitely slide this up at least two to three inches to be a little more comfortable driving. Uh, this one over here, you have your uh, sunglass compartment. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Just see a sliver of the hood. Okay, go all the way back. Now, normally there's a time I showed an auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. Uh, we can on all our cars. Okay, and some will actually try to discredit that. So just stop on by, we'll explain why. Okay, uh, but because it hasn't been detailed, I keep those inside the office. Once it's been detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you see that for yourself. Okay, uh, let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. So I'm going to turn this car off so and your foot doesn't have to be uh, on there on the brake you just push this one time it'll turn off so it's just a little less noise i know it's really windy out here but you got your mirror controls right here this is control the illumination of the dash at night and then i already showed you the the, the emergency brake i believe this is a uh, the brake assistant if you're parked on a hill and then um you got your trunk angle that right you have your trunk release right there and 
Where am I? There it is. And I think this is got a little bit of traction control. And then this guy hiding right there, that's your electronic toll collector, your ETC reader. This works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then you go all the way down here, you have your hood release. Please don't forget, on the floor here, you do have your gas cover release. And then on the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls all right there. All right, and that's going to beep if you have the door open and the keys are inside the car. Let's go to, let's go back here. It's actually pretty clean for just coming in. Really nice. All right, it is really windy today. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down. Now remember, I said I'd slide this up at least three inches. I'm a good three inches, almost four inches away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, it does have this uh, netting pocket. I didn't like it on the previous ones, but they still continued it. Uh, just be careful what you put in there. You don't, it doesn't have a lot of give. You definitely don't want to rip it. Okay, and then a um, little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. And it does have a center console that will give you two cup holders and actually, oops, actually stay level once that's now uh, once it stays level okay now you can pull this tab and it's going to be just a little compartment to the uh, trunk area if you need something from the trunk uh, going inside which we will show you right now so here's your trunk space very very nice uh, uh, trunk area De very decent space and this is the all-wheel drive okay not all Subarus are all-wheel drive over here so you got to be careful I know in America they are. All right, let's go in, uh, up front here. We're gonna show you the engine compartment. I'm gonna wrap this video up. And this, I believe, yeah, so this is a, the new engine, the 2.5 liter boxer engine, which is actually pretty clean already, but we're gonna uh, touch it up while during the detailing process. And there you go, 2009 new body style uh, Legacy B4. Uh, it's got uh, just under 70,000 kilometers on it. Again, only 43,000 miles, that is it. Military price goes down to 6200 with an additional military discount. We'll get it down to 6000 flat. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 6000 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the new 2023 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. The only thing on top will be the American Insurance Department when they go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touch on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, uh, check out what they have, uh, check out the uh, condition, pricing, and mileage of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny G's Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, uh, two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash out right, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.